Well, it might not seem like it, but it's been about a week since I had an opportunity to get into any bigger water. I got down here like December 10th. I had like a week and a half of great weather. And then uh, cold front water temps dropped to about uh, 61 for a couple days. They're up to 65 as of now. This is also a holiday week that I'm fishing in. So the last few videos, the place was kind of empty. I'm starting off here at Seven Mile Bridge. I'm gonna try to catch a couple fish to keep right away. Yellow jacks, any snappers, perfect. <laughs> Afterwards, as boat traffic increases, or wind doesn't allow me to fish here anymore, I will relocate uh, somewhere else. Maybe I'm gonna fish some of the smaller bridges. Mm, I'm gonna just try something different. So today's gonna be a really long day on the water for me. <laughs> Out of breath already. I'm on the Hobie Outback today because I want to be quick. So if I don't like this, not that the speed is different, the um, loading and unloading process is faster. So if let's say it just gets real busy and I had enough, uh, I can go relocate somewhere else very quickly here. Probably gonna work lures pretty slowly today. Smaller profiles, order temp 65, so that's cool. Hasn't been too much fishing pressure around here lately, so. Oh, first cast, that's not bad, man. That is not bad. I believe that's a short mutton snapper. It's a good start to my day. This guy's pokey as heck, so. I do remember that. Okay, pal. Squirmy. So it's pretty interesting. I'm not seeing any of these yellow jacks right now. Bites like totally different. Just a couple of bites here and there from those short buttons so far. I'm guessing they prefer some colder weather. Let's see if I learned a thing, a thing or two about fishing a spot like this. Okay, there was a mutton snapper on that ledge right there. Found a lot of little mutton snappers this morning. Fish seem to be aggressive if you drop it in their hole, that's for sure. And that's what she said. Oh, well, these bites so far have been pretty small, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm catching a lot of these guys. Little muttons everywhere, huh? Guess they come out in the cold quite a bit. All right, so big changes. No jacks, just snappers so far, all small, but definitely a big change. I haven't seen any sharks. This area has changed a lot. So, um, yeah. I see a lot of grunts, gruntsons around, but that's about it so far. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, we're on something here then. That would be my first yellow tail of the day. In a diesel minnow. Not quite what I expected there. I was on this 3 8 ounce diesel minnow. That's encouraging. All right, all right, I'm on the board. I think 12 inches is minimum size. I'm guessing this guy's definitely over 12. Looks like he's probably about 14 is my guess. Yeah. Just a, a smidgen under 14 inches. So I thought these fish tasted pretty good last time I kept one. 
I think they're a local favorite. Um, like the mangrove snappers, they're all really good, all these snapper fish, so that's cool. Let's keep them. Fortunately, my big problem here is the grass. Grass is real bad. That's a ray. It's a large creature right there. That's definitely one of those uh, eagle rays or stingrays. Yeah, there's no wind in this one. Good fish. Here. Oh, we got dinner. That's what we got. All right, this joker's coming home. These guys taste great. Um, oh, oh, I like this a lot better when there's no sharks around. I don't think there's any around today. That's a yellow jack. Got those little blue lightning bolts. Perfect fish for a tourist. It's the first one of these guys I caught today, man. That means there's not, I don't think there's a whole lot of them around. That means. I'm sure as the water warms back up, I'll get new opportunities again. But right now, I gotta deal with the cards I'm dealt. It's a little too squirrely to go back to Patch Reef. So I think the, the bridge ledge is the way to go. It's pretty quiet out here for a, uh, holiday weekend not gonna lie i thought this would be pretty busy but i think those colder temps and with decent water most guys have gone elsewhere and that makes sense to me i wouldn't be fishing here if i had a, an engine honestly but it's fun on the kayak man we're gonna make a move to a different location very shortly I see a bunch of fish down here most look like grunts some look pretty decent all right, didn't knock it. Got a couple fish for dinner there. Uh, I'm exploring and just checking out stuff. Probably gonna head over to the flats now. Still pretty early in the day. I'm gonna check out some stuff further south from here. Never been there. So instead of doing the same thing over and over, then it's not like the bite's hot. Maybe I could grind it for another hour or two, get a few more bites. But yeah, for the most part, things seem kind of on the slower side. I'm gonna do one or two more drifts. I'm just hopping around a big area doing uh changing my drift pretty frequently trying to get a couple good bites and taking it from there uh, i'm gonna go try a different uh bridge area I looked on the maps i saw some stuff that looked interesting and i'll try it might suck might be great that's part of the fun oh my gosh what a bonehead move it's my bit first big googan thing in a while it's backing my truck up to fish bahia honda right now All right I'm, i don't know if i'm gonna fish the main bridge I might just skirt the, the ledges and stuff. <laughs> I was back in my truck up and smacked one of my Night Ranger rods on a post and broke it. <laughs> now for two rods for the day. Uh, light tackle stuff. Um, hopefully we won't see any tax mans here. I don't think we will if we didn't see any at seven mile, but I could be in for a little bit of surprise. You know how this one goes. All right, let's get, let's try to see what else we can do with the rest of today beautiful out not much boat traffic actually so i'll take it let me see if i can find something out here man they, these people ain't joking when they say this current rips out here i'll tell you firsthand this ledge is fast 18 feet all right let's see what we got okay so i have just drifted into some 
shallower water just now. Man, this current moves really fast here though. Yeah, I got no idea what to do here. It's kind of, it's almost, is it innocent or is it just hilarious? I'm not sure. But I'm not seeing too much structure out here. I wanna try to find a little bit of a, a few rocks or something. I mean, it looks like mostly really low relief stuff. Good fish, whatever this one is. Oh, it's short red grouper. This is pretty cool. Found a ledge here in 21 feet. Very different than the ledge from the other week, so. But it's like very, there's a good amount of little structure on it, so. That might be better for what I'm trying to do here. Now I won't be losing stuff left and right. Maybe I'll catch a fish or two for dinner. Go tail. A little short, but that's encouraging. Maybe black grouper, okay. I'm surprised we're not getting jacks doing this, honestly. Maybe they'll show up shortly, but right now, no jacks. I don't know what I got. Yellow tail on a paddle tail, you gotta be kidding me. I don't know much about these fish, but they seem really aggressive. Definitely a lot of structure here, but look at this. Ooh, another one for dinner. I think, 12, right? little critters here he's pretty they're pretty good he's not as big as the one we caught on seven mile but yeah 12 12 and a half not even pinching the tail really you measure these guys to the total length so 12 and a half he's not very big but like i said i don't know if i'll have a great day of catching a bunch of yellow tails and all that stuff here so if i start catching lots of 12s i'll stop stop keeping them but i want to make sure i got something to go home with you know so we got two yellow tails and one yellow jack. So we got a short grouper here. We had a couple bites here. It's a good fish, I think. There's a bunch of these guys down there, huh? Okay, I'm gonna put this one back. It's another keeper, but yeah, it's okay. fish. Oh, is that a, that's a different type of snapper. I think that's a lane, right? Yeah, this one's a lane snapper. Uh, whoop. I think I checked the regulations. I believe I read these things are seasons closed. I use this fish rules app. It's like, um, it's an easy one. Closed, okay. Eight inch minimum size, but it's closed, it says. So, okay, that's what I thought. Got him. Good fish. It's 
thing we got here. This feels like a Jack Ravel. My old buddy. I haven't caught one of these in a while. Maybe it's a yellow jack though. Oh why by the way, he seems sizable. Mutton. Oh, nothing but a mutton. Okay. Awesome. That was awesome. Okay, just in case someone at home is going to be like, that's not a keeper. Damn, these guys are sharp though, man. I'm not going to lie. Uh, just under 21. Thank you. Thank you, Mutton Snapper. You're an awesome kayak quarry right here. Excellent eating fish. Got myself a 21 inch Mutton Snapper there. It's kind of what I'm going for, man. I like jigging these, uh, these fish. I was, I was wondering how consistently I could do that. All right, I drifted back away, so I gotta run up for another drift there. That's my first, it feels great. That's my first Bahia Honda Mutton Snapper. Let's see if we can get one more of those guys. That was really cool. Uh, I've got 15 pound leader on here, so I went pretty light. It's a half ounce DOA jig head there. That was a four inch DOA split tail. Get a lot of bites from these guys now. Maybe the mutton was the king of the top of the food chain there. It's possible. I don't know if snappers work with like a lot of other fish that sometimes the bigger fish might eat first. Yeah, I haven't seen a shark today, man. <laughs> I could get used to this, but I'll tell you what, man, I'm getting a lot less bites than I, I did my last few trips out in these waters. It seems like that cold water definitely makes this fishing harder. Um, but still getting bites. It's nice to know I'm not going to have to worry about, hopefully not going to have to worry about getting sharked on the way up as well. So these two little little things are definitely more making it more comfortable for me. So the chart I'm using hinted at something here. Uh, maybe yeah, it's tough to tell it's not much if it is yeah it drops it drops all right let's try it yellow jack Got him. Red grouper. It's gotta be 20 inches. Not even close. He's a baby. I feel like that was a different kind of day. Um, I explored once again. Had kind of different results. A couple yellowtail. I ended up with three yellowtail one yellow jack and a mutton snapper, right? Looking is kind of hard and trying to understand how and where is the fish. So, well, we got fish for dinner. Let me see if I can find one more rock on the way in. If we stumble on something, we'll stop on it. Uh, yeah, next time I'll fish kind of closer up to that bridge a little more. First of all, a ton of current over there. And second of all, a lot of boats. So stayed back and fished like a Guggen. And fishing like a Guggen is kind of fun. So I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, so take this all with a grain of salt. Um, grain of salt life. All right, I'm, I'm wiped. A lot of current, a lot of learning, a lot of exploring, but it's all a good time. So, saw some stuff I like. So, thanks for watching as always. Gonna try to get out of Hatch Reef tomorrow and see what, see what happens from there. So, got some good weather again, so I'll take advantage of it. So, all right, guys, I'll catch you on the next video.